another video, this time with a little bit of a commentary track. What we're doing here is we have this stick figure like bug and we're animating it using neural networks. So the first task that this bug has to do is just to keep its balance basically. And it does have a little bit of a difficulty. Everything it does is actually learned from the experience, from the sensomotorics that it has. And keeping the balance is not that trivial. So here we show what happens if you only have physics, if you have absolutely no control. So the skeleton, the bug basically falls down. And here it learns how to not fall down. So basically how to keep its legs up. Every leg has three degrees of freedom. So it can go up, it can go sideways, and you have this kind of knee joint. And every leg is individually controlled by a different neural network with 50 neurons. Now it's not totally independent from all the other legs because every leg gets the information about the angles of all the other legs. So while they're not totally coordinated, so there is some crosstalk in between to coordinate the motion. So after the bug is done keeping his balance, after he figured out how to not fall over, so the next thing the bug needs to do is he needs to learn how to move. And again, everything is learned. So there's, there are basically no instructions other than setting a few goals. And here we can see that after a little while he mastered how to stand up. He's using his legs, he's pushing itself forward. And I should also say that the surface is actually quite slippery. So it's a little bit more difficult than it might seem. And here he does a pretty good job in getting in one direction. And the longer we let this run, the faster the bug will actually become. And here's another angle. You can see that there is a little bit of a lack of coordination in between the legs. And also there should be something like symmetry. So this would be one of the next things to add, to have a little bit of more of a hierarchy and also have more feedback. So that's basically it in a nutshell. We can watch the bug for another little while and see how it learns. But the basic idea is not necessarily to animate only bugs or these simple things, but to also apply the same principle to more complex figures. And the beauty of this approach is that you don't have to tell it anything. It really learns from the physics. It gets its clues from whether the legs touch the floor, for example. And the rest is really to follow a set goal. And even the goal can be obviously switchable over time. So in this case, w if we set the goal to move, move around as quickly as you can, then it will find itself in a situation where it loses the balance again. So it has to switch back to regaining the balance first before continuing to move on. And let's see how this plays out. And let's see what happens if we apply this to more complex models or skeletons or other non-playable characters. Thanks for watching.